St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is Mrs. Jeanette Nazareth from Toronto, Ontario, for her health and for the well-being of her family. The second are the Sisters of St. Joseph of Toronto, on behalf of the sisters in the infirmary at the Mother House of the Sisters of St. Joseph. The third is Pat Rayson from Whitby, Ontario, in thanksgiving for prayers answered and for the celebrants of the TV Mass. Our thanks to all our donors for this gift. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My friends, we gather here today to celebrate God's love for us in this Eucharist. In order to enter into the celebration more fully, let us call to mind our sins and let us ask God for his pardon and his peace. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father, guide us as you guide creation according to your law of love. May we love one another and come to perfection in the eternal life prepared for us. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus is the Lord concerning Israel, his people. I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. There she shall respond as in the days of her youth, as at the time when she came out of the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, you will call me my husband, and no longer will you call me my Baal, and I will take you for my wife forever. I will take you for my wife in righteousness and in justice, in steadfast love and in mercy. I will take you for my wife in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. and 
shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is kind and merciful. Savior Jesus Christ has done away with death and brought us life through the gospel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking to the disciples of John the Baptist, suddenly a leader of the synagogue came in and knelt before him saying, my daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. And Jesus got up and followed him with his disciples. Then suddenly a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak. For she said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will be made well. Jesus turned and seeing her, he said, take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. When Jesus came to the leader's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, go away, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put outside, Jesus went in and took her by the hand, and the girl got up. And the report of this spread throughout that district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. 